Resilience is a big thing for us. How do we adapt to the change in climate, the change in the, just the huge variabilities? My husband, Pat, and I own Highland Family Farms here in Mapleton, Minnesota. Pat is fifth generation, so our kids would be sixth. So between Gabe, our youngest son, and Pat and I, we do a lot of the daily decision making, although the big 30,000 foot decisions, all of us participate in. But we're a row crop operation. We do grow corn, soybeans, some small grains. Rye is a new crop for us. We have a presence in the hog industry, meaning that we um, have barns that we utilize the uh, manure from on the crop ground. It's for us, that diversification has been really important. Rain in our area is usually about 30, 34 inches. This year so far, we've had 10. So um, we're, um, you know, we're having to think differently as the climate is uh, obviously affecting us differently than it had at the beginning of our career 35 years ago. So we're gonna pay attention to things like soil health, water quality. We're going to work hard to make the right choices and decisions. So we've got about four different kinds of tillage that we're doing out here, but no more recreational tillage. That's just not a good way for us to build that resilience in our business, to say nothing of building that resilience in our soil. Cover crops, we have four, five, six different types of cover crops. A plant, usually a small grain, are small grasses that go on after our regular row crops come off in the fall. And it helps us keep the soil in place. It helps us with water storage. It helps build that tilth, if you know what I mean, the depth of the soil profile so we can maybe plant earlier so that we can maybe see water move where it should go and hold it where we need it. Soil is an amazing living thing. So if we can keep it where it is, we want to do that. That's the goal. Build that organic matter in the soil. Build in um, the resilience. You know, healthy soil means that we're going to be able to filter, use the soil as a filter before it gets to um, a river or a stream or the ditch. We want to use the plant matter, the organic matter, to feed the plant that we're going to grow there long term and not to send it all down the river. So the water quality portion of that is incredibly important to us. It's a huge value. We understand that water quality in the river, groundwater, all of it, is not only important to our operation, but it's important to everyone. It's definitely a societal value to have clean water. There's opportunity in natural climate solutions, whether it's a forest or agriculture, there's an opportunity to help combat climate change, we're going to do things differently and everybody's got to be engaged.